then after at a certain point my in in she mean my my preceptor Seattle Rivata wrote a letter to me uh, saying that Pandya Kachita came uh, well gave him a call asking whether or not I'm I'm back in Subang Jaya he said that if I am then he would like to invite me to come stay with him uh, so I was thinking well, should I go back should I not go back well maybe I should stay on longer and who knows I might become a sota fan <laughs> so it was like mine was going ding dong ding dong and I told my teacher that and he said well you gotta make a decision you know you shouldn't be going meditating thinking should I go should I not go that's really just not right for a meditation it's, it's, it's uh, filling your mind with doubts and the uncertainties so he, he said just decide and, and which I did and well, which of course, at the end of which I didn't change sort of party. <laughs> so I I came back anyway, and I I stayed with Bhante Agachita soon after returning to Malaysia, and was staying with him on the other side of the hill. Um, it was a double story kind of kudi, if you like. Maybe you can call it a kudi. It's too big. I was doing a lower lower uh, level, lower floor and I was staying in the upper floor. Um, then I was learning Pali from him. He was staying on this. Soon after staying with him, he came over to this side to start uh, supervising the building of this place, the, the roads, the, the buildings. And he left me there. <laughs> it was interesting saying that, that there were, uh, I get to meet wild balls every day. Uh, they were interesting animals. Usually, usually they, they they don't try to meet human beings. If they even hear or see human beings, they'll just run off very very fast. Uh, but I was told that there was this guy who got killed by a wild boar, and that that got me worried a little. <laughs> so there was one time that I was sitting below the kuti and it was like it's an open space and I heard a grunt behind me. I turned around and there was this wobble and and he I looked at him and he looked at me. Then I thought maybe I shouldn't look at him so I turned back and waited for him to go away and, and he did go away. <laughs> so there, there were there's another occasion when I was just walk, doing walking meditation i beneath my kuti as well and it was dark it was quite dark although i could still see some see things outside just because of the moonlight and i was walking quietly up and down then i saw a wild boar this is probably about um maybe 15 feet away and he didn't see me because it was dark underneath the kuti I said, wow, that's a wild boar, it's very near me. And he didn't, he didn't notice me. And behind that wild boar was another wild boar, just, just as big. And after that, there were two little <laughs> wild piglets, you know, tagging along. And I thought, wow, four wild boars. And, uh, and uh, I, I, luckily I was very, very quiet. At that time I didn't, I didn't make a sound because uh, I had, I, had they knew that I was dead, it might be have been a bit dangerous because of the, the young. So I had some interesting experience with the wild boars.